Jesus did on the cross. You know what I'm saying? We have to be weaker so they can come and be saved. And we have a kingdom in heaven that's going to reward us for that. You know what I'm saying? If we come too hard, then we're establishing our kingdom here. You know? Does that you all want to keep reading? Uh, no, I like today. I, I like well, you, we can keep reading, but I just I like that I'm recording it right now. Cause what you what you said about the they already scared already, and they just don't want to put up. They don't want to tell you that they scared. They know that God's coming back. And they know they're not ready. They, they know they ain't ready. So you, we shouldn't come at them already like ah, you know what I'm saying? Cause they already scared already. It's just they they're on the front. Mhm. Which I would too. Yeah. I would. I, I would too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was that person. Yeah. I knew. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I always, I know I always say, I mean, I don't think there was a God, but I remember there being times when like, I would pray, God, just don't let me die tonight. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even though I didn't do anything in the morning when I woke up, I was like, oh, so why? Praise but the Lord. We got to help them. <laughs> Not get... even that. I was just like, <laughs> you know what I mean, basically. We got to help them get to the Savior, and that's where we always mess up. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how to get people to the Savior. We just get them to know that they're going to hell. Right. Which is doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we're... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to read some more. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I think the reason is because like, our culture is like, even though uh, being gay is a sin, they're so against, like, it, it, you notice how being gay is like more persecuted even by the world too. But, mm-hmm. Like a lot of men are really feminine and they think they're gay or they can't, they can't get a girl so they just become gay so they can mm-hmm. hang out with girls. And like they're sheep, you know what I'm saying. But the world is persecuting those those sheep to make them seem like they're something that they're not. You know what I mean? Because we don't want to be sheep. We want to, you know, work mm. on our six pack abs and do a lot of curls and talk a lot loud mm. and confident. You know what I mean? But like Jesus was, he was all those things, but he chose to be a sheep. Not just a sheep, you know a saying? slaughtered. A sh- slaughtered lamb, meaning yeah. persecuted and suffering. Mm. You know, don't be a sheep. Mm. Sheep are dumb. You know, be a slaughtered lamb. You know what I'm saying? That's purpose. No, you're going to slaughter. It's your choice. Suffer for that person you're talking to more than rain. Sometimes, like like you say, Mike, sometimes I just sit here and I don't say nothing and I want to. Mm. I got to suffer. That's my job. It's not to put a kingdom here, put a cross here. You know what I'm saying? And when you get your ministry and in your ministry, you got a real talk. There's going to be people there t- saying crazy stuff, and you can just dominate the conversation. No, suffer. You know, outlets, you're going to start gossiping, you're going to start trying to overthrow everything. There's anything like youth ministry or anything I've ever seen, and you're going to have opportunities to just, you know, well, eventually it may come to. But, you know, <laughs> you know, you have to suffer, too, a lot sometimes, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, it's not easy, man. I struggle with that, man. It's like the, the, the slaughter land is dope, man. I need to gain my, I, my mind naturally wants to ignore them, so I got to naturally, supernaturally destroy them. You're, you're, you're participating in a supernatural when you are putting the slaughter lamb before the lion in your in your mind, you are being super. You are participating in supernatural when you suffer for the sake of your brother instead of fighting your brother. You are participating in the supernatural because it is not natural. You know, supernatural sounds like a sexy word, but when you actually try to do it, man, you're like, dang, I don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Does supernatural mean like so natural? You know what I mean? That's like- Super it's just different. Natural. It's just like different. It should be that way. It's so natural that it's, it's like supernatural. What? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is like some hair, <laughs> some hair oil. So natural. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, isn't, isn't what God, God now? Isn't what God like is? Isn't that the most natural thing you could be as a human? Not on Earth, man. The flesh is natural. Flesh is is a natural thing. And we're naturally sinners. We naturally love the darkness instead of the light. We naturally rebel against God. We naturally sin. No one ever taught us how to cuss. No one ever taught us how to lie. No one ever taught us how to use, how to lust. Ever. It just came natural. We had to be taught how to forgive. 
We had to be taught how to suffer for our brother. We had to be taught how to put others before us. Those are natural things kids know how to do when you're teaching kids. It's supernatural. That's why the gospel is taught, not known. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the natural is the natural is all this, like trees and, and skin, and you know you naturally start getting a hard one when you're 12 in the middle of the night, humping the mattress. Natural. Yeah, you know, no one ever taught you. He's gonna do. <laughs> That's the natural. That's why we too. naturally have those urges. I'm telling you. No, I'm, I'm talking about the flesh. Do you ever go to uh, uh, offing class where you learn how to off yourself? No. It's just, it's, nat it's natural. You know what I'm saying? To put some.